Hi guys, got a request from Patrick Gaming. Can you make a windmill that powers the snowman? So he's obviously seen my videos where I've got this solar powered snowman that I've taken the solar panel out of. I've also taken the little printed circuit board out and all that's left in there is there's a coil of wire and the magnet on the end of the pendulum that makes him rock. So when some current flows through the coil of wire that either attracts or repels the magnet and he rocks. Now because I've taken everything out of there I've had to externally mount the printed circuit board. I say printed circuit, it's one of those typical little Chinese black blobs which you can't actually see any of the internals and the capacitor. And I've connected it up to an electric motor that I've put a nice big polystyrene fan blade on. Now just to show that he still works, if I connect up this button cell across the circuit, there we go. It takes a little while to charge up the capacitor to get it going, so when I just blow on this fan blade it takes rather more puff than I've got to actually build up the current or the charge in the capacitor to get it going. I'll just reconnect it. See if we can stop him. And I'll try blowing on here, but I think I may have to take it outside or use something else to blow on it. not sure if he's rocking because the wind's blowing on him or because there's just a little bit of current getting into it. I've just connected my meter up across the terminals of the fan and you'll see I'm only getting, well I'm getting slightly less than half a volt. So I need a little bit more than that to get him going. I think I need about three quarters of a volt to get him started. So like I say, I need a bit more breeze. This is going to get a bit noisy. I've got my vacuum cleaner here. And I'm going to hold the windmill, or the electric motor, right over it. And see if we can get a reasonable amount of voltage out of it. quick summary. <laughs> Did it work? It just about worked. Um, took more effort than I expected. The electric motor I'm using there is one out of the solar butterflies, fluttering solar butterflies, so it's a good um, quality motor. It actually needs very little power to run it, so looking at that the other way around, it actually gives a good power output for reasonably low amount of effort going into it but I think I'd need to put this in a proper gale forced wind for it to work really well. Using my vacuum cleaner was a bit of a struggle because it doesn't have a blow vent on it, it only has a suck vent so I had to open it up and hold the fan directly over the outlet to get a blow on it instead of a suck. But it did work um, as you could probably see, it started working once we got over about 0.6 of a volt. It was enough to start him moving. 
not in a nice continuous movement because it needs to charge up the capacitor before it actually discharges through the coil and so with more voltage it would have been a smooth operation but with the minimal voltage I was given it, it was taking time to charge and then discharge. But it worked. And if I did it again I think I'd use a different type of fan blade and a different motor. But I think that was probably the best motor I've actually got for doing it. So job done.